two begins. What's going on? We got another complete rifle or a complete setup. So this one here is my close quarter combat where I always have different alternatives or different setups, the terrain or the atmosphere in which you're in. So I usually tend to have a certain rifle setup for certain areas or terrain, like I mentioned. So Without further ado. So we're gonna go with my, and I'm, I've shown this rifle a few times, but it hasn't been complete um, where I want it. Um, and I'm still maybe, will tweak a few things here and there, but, but for now, I think this is how I like it. And just maybe a few more accessories or things I might add in the future. But I think this is like my CQB rifle here, um, complete if I ever need it. Um, so, you guys already know you could do the short or the longer setup on the silence of coke can here um, so we're going to start from the top this time so got the silence of coke asr with a magpul hand stop here and then surefire flashlight here with and as always always just add an empty mag for the pick so it's empty, it's clear, just to get you guys to see. Nothing in the chamber, nothing on there. And then, so we're gonna go move. And so this is, like I mentioned, this LWRC M6A2 uh, by 5.56. Complete rifle, I bought this almost, I don't know, probably eight, 10 years ago. So it's been a while. Um, so this, they don't, they no longer sell this. I don't know if they still sell this setup here, but I don't think they sell this color here. So they, I, th I believe they discontinued this one. Um, so you can see right there, LWRC M6A2556, right there, M6 model. Your standard EOTEC with, I bought this off eBay in 2018, 2019, 2018, 2019, 2019, 2019, 2019, 2019, 2019, I think I paid like at that time probably like four fifty five hundred ish bucks. Uh, they are a little bit pricey, but hey, they always seem to work for me. So then moving down to the mag ambi mag release on both sides, and this is a, is a Knight's Armament mag release here with let's move down here to a Timney trigger, and I like I said I've had this one here. Probably one and a half to four and a half pound, and it's it's a crazy. Let me trigger. get you guys to check out this trigger and check this out. Watch the set, the reset. It's crazy. It's crazy insane. So one of my favorite triggers. Uh, I believe they still make this trigger here. It's really a pricey trigger at that. And then we're gonna go to I think Rainer Arms. Uh, like I said, I bought this Ambi also. Safety there, selector. Um, and it's just rainy arms, I believe. And so we're going to go to the back with, and this is an old one also. You guys see the Raptor by Rainer Arms there. Um, Ambi charging handle also. And so, and then your regular LWRC pop up sights here. Really good sights here, in my opinion. Um, like I said, back. And front LWRC iron sights for backup. And then we have, like I said, King Magpul furniture with the, let me get this here, with the Voltor uh, bus stock. Really nice thing, only if you have a beard. And it, sometimes my hair gets caught up in here. So that's the only thing I don't like about it. Uh, but then again, it has a few pockets here um, for you to store anything down there. So let me switch to the other side here. Get you guys so. And then the Magpul. And this is, I think, one of my favorite, favorite slings here. And let me show you guys to show you which one is the MS4 piece here, front piece here. I think I had switched it out, but the sling itself is the MS1 a Magpul sling. So a really nice two-point sling. My favorite sling to carry. Um, and so definitely i got another one on the way and i have a few other ones also here but definitely the two-point sling is one of my favorites um, 
to go to. So we're gonna move that out the way and then just that on the side. I can't remember where this setup here, I can't remember the company that I bought from, but it's been so long ago that I don't remember about that. And then, and so I, and then if you guys know on my long rifle, I have the same flashlight setup and these are IR also right there. IR setup, they are a little bit bulky, but I've used, I've carried bigger ones when I was in the service, when they first came out with these flashlights. Um, so this one's not too bad. I like it. And like I said, I got it <laughs> rigged here for the wire. But yeah, and then I have the setup there. Um, and that should be it. And then we're going to flip out and then try it on with the, have the option. And I'm, a, I'm thinking that I'm going to actually just get a can that's just 556 five, for this rifle here. But giving you guys a a look on how it looks okay, there we go how it looks locked in place and there it is the setup there so CQB rifle um, it's always good to have different setups or different rifles different rifles for different application for different applications um, should something happen or arise, um, you always have that option, different options to go to. So another rifle that's complete and I have many more. Like I said, I have my 8Ks and all that kind of stuff and I'll show you that setup also. Uh, many more videos to come. Let me know what you guys want to see next. But hey, I figure I'll give you guys an update on some of the stuff I run and the setup that I have. Uh, it doesn't have to be too expensive, but you know, you always get what you pay for as the saying go so definitely i appreciate the love and support and as always take care and stay safe